Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 17 of this Did You Know series as we take a look at 5 more things you might not know in WWE 2K18. Did you know there's a shout out to Fit Finley included in the game when wrestling in Ireland? Despite Fit Finley not making the cut for 2K18, Finley isn't completely forgotten as should you wrestle a match in Belfast, Ireland, Owen Askham reveals that the commentary team will reference the former WWE and WCW superstar. Settle in guys, this is going to be a blast to watch. And if this crowd is anything like their hometown hero Finley, they love to fight and that's exactly what they're going to see here tonight. Did you know there are new carry finishers included for Nikki Bella, Mark Henry, Razor Ramon and The Undertaker? Previously in the series we've covered a whole host of signature and finishing moves that can be performed out of nowhere using the new carry system either straight from pickup or following a top rope dive reversal. Today we're going to be featuring 5 more of these starting off with Nikki Bella as should you hold your opponent in the fireman's carry position then you can perform the rack attack 2.0 out of nowhere. Up next we'll have Mark Henry as should you hold or catch your opponent in the cradle position then you can execute the world's strongest slam. Up next comes the bad guy Razor Ramon as should you lift or catch your opponent in the powerbomb position then you can pull off the epic Razor's Edge. Finally we have The Undertaker who has not just one but two carry finishers as firstly should he carry or catch an opponent in the powerbomb position with the American Badass then he can pull off the last ride. Additionally, should you carry or catch an opponent over your shoulder, then you can also transition into the Tombstone Pile Driver. Did you know that Enzo Amore has a unique reversal when reversing certain running strikes? Following on from the last episode in which we covered TJP's unique corner evasion that he follows up with a neckbreaker, Kirsten reveals that Enzo Amore 2 has his own unique reversal as should you pull off the regular drop toe hold reversal using Enzo then he'll follow it up with his unique Enzo trample as he walks over the back of his opponent. Did you know that The Undertaker has an exclusive mid-match running animation? Previously in the series we covered how Bray Wyatt has his own unique mid-match running animation which sees him appear in the middle of the ring to hit the sister Abigail before then disappearing, however today we'll have another of these unique running animations as Daredevil 9 reveals that The Undertaker also has a unique animation that sees him appear in the middle of the ring. Hold on! Well, where'd the lights go? Here he goes. Choke slam! I think that slam caught us all off guard. That was pretty dirty, Corey. If by dirty you mean effective, then yes, I completely agree. Did you know it's possible to glitch the steel steps so that you can do moves on top of them? This year in Dota 2K18, 2K added the ability to perform carry moves on the steel steps such as the powerbomb, however when using regular moves you will generally find that the steps get pushed out of the way and don't connect properly. Now though, Xbox Gunner Gaming reveals a new trick that allows you to make the steps interact with players allowing you to do moves on top of them. To do this, you'll first want to head out of the ring and then remove the padding and the monitors from the announce table. Once you've done this, go grab the steel steps and drop them in front of the announce table, then run into the steps which should cause them to move and glitch underneath the table. Once you've done this, gain a stored finisher and then perform an announce table finisher to put your opponent through it. If you do this correctly and perform the announce table finisher whilst the steps are underneath, then you should find that this causes the properties of the steps to change and stops the steps from moving when walking or running into them which then allows you to walk up and down on the steps as well as being able to perform moves onto them without them awkwardly moving out of the way. So there you go, that was 5 more things you might not know in WWE 2K18, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did I'd love it if you could drop a like to show your support as well as leaving a comment below to let me know what you made of today's features and if there's any other secrets, hints or easter eggs that you think I should cover. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Did You Know episodes and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified the second a new video drops. Until next time though, all that's left to be said is I hope you've enjoyed this video, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.